Good day everyone, my name is Mahulan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to go on a tour around Charles Darwin University of Australia. It is commonly known as CDU. This university is situated in a suburb called Casuarina in Darwin, Northern Territory, Australia. This university was ranked among first 500 universities in the world in Times Higher Education magazine in 2021 and it is ranked as the 29th university in Australia. Let's go inside this beautiful university, walk around, have a look and talk about the courses and facilities and special features of this university. As in every video, I would like to ask you guys to consider subscribing to my channel as it will help me to do more and more contents. Let me tell you a brief history about this university. It was first started in the year of 1987 in the name of University College of Northern Territory in Miley Point, Darwin. They first started teaching arts and science in this University College of Northern Territory. After that, in 1989, Australian Commonwealth and Northern Territory government came forward and joined Darwin Institute of Technology with the University College of Northern Territory and formed Northern Territory University. This institute was completely transferred to Casorina in Northern Territory where it is currently situated in the year of 1997. After that, in the year of 2004, from the amalgamation of Northern Territory University, Menzies School of Health and Research and Sundralian College, the Charles Darwin University was formed. This university was named after the famous naturalist, biologist and the father of evolution, Charles Darwin. The history about this university is mentioned here at the entrance. And when you see here on the ground, there are also some notes about this university. And in this place, they have buried the historical documents about this university, which is going to be unearthed on 30th May 2025. So guys, this is the main entrance of this Charles Darwin University. There is a bus stop right at the entrance of this university which makes students life easier. Also there is an information center at the entrance which helps all the people who is coming here for the first time. There are four flags hoisted in front of this university. They are flags representing University, Indigenous People of Australia, Northern Territory and Australia respectively. This is the map of the whole Charles Darwin University which has been displayed at the entrance and helpful to each and everyone coming here. There are eight precincts in this university and each one of them are marked in different colors. The legend is also given on one side of this map. Now we are inside of this university. The first place we are going to visit is the library. Let's go there. Look at this auditorium. This is called as Malnine Auditorium, which is one of the main ones in this university. When you see opposite to this auditorium, there is a beautiful clock tower present. There are also few small biopep trees planted in front of this auditorium. They look cool, aren't they? This is the entrance for the campus library. This is the ground floor of this library. As I am taking this video during Christmas and New Year holidays, there are not many students in this library. 
now I am at the first floor of this university and there are a lot of bookshelves and books in this library. This is the second floor guys. There are books about law and legislation at the front shelves and other types of books on the following shelves. The special thing about this library is we can return the books we lend from here at any time. We just need to put the books here and they will be collected by the staffs. That is the library we just visited guys. There is an overhead walkway going from that building to this one and this one right here is the building of lecture halls. There is a bookshop situated on the ground floor of this lecture halls building where you can buy all the stationeries. Alright guys, let's see what are the colleges available in this university. There are six colleges in total and they are Asia Pacific College of Business and Law, College of Education, College of Engineering, IT and Environment, College of Health and Human Sciences, College of Indigenous Future, Arts and Culture, College of Nursing and Midwifery. There are a lot of students from South Asia and Southeast Asia coming here for nursing and midwifery courses. There is also a post office available in this university There are post boxes available for renting here and students and staffs working here can rent them and use them. This one right here is the printing press of this university. You can print, scan and photocopy any academic material here. Look at this place guys. This place is really cool and seems like a place to rest and chill out. This is the indoor basketball court of this university. This is an indoor theater of this university. I reckon arts and cultural performance are performed here. Look at this one. This is an open theater just near to the indoor theater. Events can be arranged here when it's not a rainy season. There are more than 20,000 students studying in this university and more than 1,500 administrative staffs are working here. This university is providing certificate courses, bachelor's degree and also master's degree for the students. There are accommodations available for the students very close to this campus premises. There are accommodation available for the students very close to this campus premises. They are called as uni lodge and other types of accommodations are also available. Look at this building right here. This is a building belongs to the Department of Graphic Design, Digital Arts, Visual Media, Architecture and Design. This one here is the building of information technology management and support. Academic activities regarding information technology are conducted here. This is one of the student union poster poles available in this university. 
students can learn about carpentry, joinery and roof structure in this place. You can see there is a roof structure being built. This is the concrete testing laboratory in civil engineering department. There are machines to measure the compressive strength of concrete cylinders. When you look at this place, this is also another lab where all the practical and tests for in-ground services can be done. Medical field studies are conducted here by Flinders University and Charles Darwin University. I reckon both the universities are contributing for that. Oil and gas are being one of the most important power sources in Australia. There are also studies about them being conducted in Charles Darwin University. This is the building for North Australian Centre for Oil and Gas. There are studies about oil and gas being conducted here. When you see around this place, it looks so good with green grass and beautiful trees. Look at this building right here. This is also a building for oil and gas. Let's go there and check out. I reckon this one should be a practical lab for oil and gas studies. As you can see, there are a lot of gas bottles stored here and there are a lot of signboards too. Look at this one. This is another practical yard for oil and gas. Now we are here at the fitness complex of Charles Darwin University. Gyms, sports grounds and complexes are here in this region. This is the main gym of Charles Darwin University it is currently closed as it's holidays now. Just opposite to the main gym, there is also another small fitness center available. There are some cricket practice nets here and when you see that side, you can see a foodie ground. Just finished a bit of cricket session guys. I am currently at the middle of this foodie ground. Let's have a look around this ground. Now we are in another section and you can see an office of indigenous leadership. This is the external look of office of indigenous leadership and you can see some event banners are hanging there. This is a place where Australian indigenous cultural events and programs are conducted. You can see some artworks of Australian indigenous people here and also there is a very big fan on the top. Look at the size of that guys. Australian indigenous people's art and culture are being taught in this university. You can see all those beautiful artworks here.
look at this guys international house darwin so this is the place where the international students who study in cdu can stay this is another entrance to the university which is close to the student hostel Look at that building. I reckon that is also another practical lab of this university. There is also an electrical car charging station in this university and this is that place. This university is very good guys, having a lot of features. This building is the center for youth and community music. There is a beautiful park next to this building. Let's go there and check that out. Look at these statues at the entrance guys. They are really cool. There are a lot of statues in this park and these statues are mostly brought from Indonesia and Bali. This university also teaches wood carving works and you can see some benches with beautiful carving works. Alrighty guys, that is the end of the tour around this amazing Charles Darwin University. Some of you guys might have noticed that this university having some debris and not cleaned in some places. It is because I take this video during Christmas and New Year holidays and there is nothing happening in this university now. Anyway, I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video. If you did so, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon. I will see you all in another beautiful episode. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.